Mata Mata Rest Camp, which is our spot for tonight. And this is the Alb Riverbed. As you can see, it's not actually a river. Apparently it only flows once a century. It's not due to flow for another 70 odd years. But traffic like this only means one thing, which is lions. Tomato. The gate is on gate duty. She actually blends in with the gate. We could only get a family chalet when we booked at the last minute, so I had to take what was available. The chalets are a little bit dated, but very, very nice, very comfortable, everything you need, clean towels, clean bedding, nice shower. Although I have to say, our particular shower didn't have any cold water, it only had hot, but we managed to get a shower in anyway. The water all over the Kalahadi is very soapy, so you know after you've showered, you kind of feel that you've still got soap all over you. But that's the throughout the Kalahadi. We only spent one night here because we could only get one night in the camp. It's really nice. It's a really nice camp. It's quite small, and the vibe in the evening especially was really nice. You know, just people enjoying themselves, frying. There's a nice uh, viewpoint at the waterhole. We didn't see any game there, but uh, chatting to people there said they have seen game. There was lions there yesterday morning, so we just missed that. What do I like? What do I not like? Honestly, Mata Mata, I would love to have spent more time here. And even as for camping, it's really nice. I mean, it's nice and shady. The campsites are lined along the riverbank there behind me. And it's, it's a very, very nice camp. The shop is not very well stocked, um, there's not that much in the shop and the power goes off at 10 o'clock, just remember that, and only comes on again at 5 in the morning, so if you want to charge stuff you need to do it before that. Yes, a very nice camp, I would recommend it and I will definitely be back.